everyone and welcome back to wildlife rescue and we are back here at our beautiful rescue look how pretty this is i just cannot get over the fencing and the beautiful sign and the little plants and the happy animals and actually i think last time we left off we adopted out a ton of our animals yep the wolf is gone we took care of all of the rest oh who's this Killian is in great condition and we can offer him a place at our wildlife park. Yay! Killian the wolf has gone on to find another home. So the first thing we're doing is scooping up the dirty bedding. Well, that's just fine because it is part of taking care of the wolves. And actually, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about wolves today because so many of you are huge fans or a lot of you know how important they are. And here in North Carolina, we have the red wolf, which is one of the only wolf species in the... Um, North American continent. Uh, there's the gray wolf, red wolf, timber wolf. You can, you've got a few of them, but the red wolf is almost extinct. It's down to just a few hundred members. And that's really sad. Yay, and this area is nice and clean now. But that's really sad. And recently it was decided uh, by a federal commission, which is when, oh my gosh, are you guys hungry? Oh, you guys need some food. I didn't feed my raccoons. Well, let's go ahead and take care of that while we talk about this. But basically there was a meeting where the public came together and they voted that they didn't want the red wolf here in North Carolina anymore. And the reason that they voted that is it was mostly landowners and hunters who said this is a bad thing. The red wolf is going to... Did I, did I not treat you yet? Yeah, 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 you're okay. You should have a, had a treatment by now. That There we go. I wonder, I wonder, hang on you guys, I wonder, okay, there's that. Treatment finished, oh my gosh, we're like healing all these raccoons, that's making me happy. But I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think about that? Because I know some of you are actually from um, families that farm, and you understand that there's kind of a balance between, yes, we've taken care of so many of the raccoons. There's a balance between trying to take care of the amazing wildlife and trying to protect your economic interests and your feeling of safety. And for a lot of the North Carolina hunters, they said, the wolves are eating my, my raccoons or eating my like turkey and deer and other things that they would hunt. And so they wanted the wolves removed because they didn't want that competition. Now, you know, my position on that is that that's not fair. Not only not fair, but it's detrimental to the ecosystem's health as a whole. But what is, like, what do you guys think about? Why do you think it's important to keep a predator like the red wolf in an area or coyotes or the gray wolf? Why do you think that's important? And I wanted to ask you guys, what would you do to try to support or either stance to support removing them or support keeping them do you think that's important nowadays because these are questions and decisions that you guys are going to have to make in the future you are citizens of the the world and you can make an influence that's what our pixel biology community is all about but i just wanted to ask that because it's on my mind today because i feel bad for the red wolf and i know how much you guys love wolves but let's go ahead and focus on having frisco go out to a happy new home oh my goodness hello sir and Pepper is going out to a happy new home. My gosh, so we are really like healing the animals up, sending them out to new wildlife parks. That makes me really happy. So they should be having a good time. And we're slowly and surely gathering up a little bit of money. It takes a little while though. All right, let's go ahead and spray this down so it's nice and clean. And it's really important to keep these enclosures clean so you don't transfer any of the diseases that one animal may have had to another. All right, and I'm just going to tidy this up. I'm pretty sure we've taken care of everything here. But yeah, I just wanted to ask you guys about that with wolves. It's kind of a big question for some of you, because um, it might seem a little bit more complicated. But it's important to think about, and it's important to kind of have a position on as you get older. All right, so the bears are taken care of. Our little skunks need taken care of. How did I forget to take care of our skunks? Oh my goodness. All right, can I do any more? Nope, can't do more than one treatment a day. I just wanted to see if you could do like multiple treatments a day, but that is not the case. All right, well, we're here late today because I didn't notice that we hadn't taken care of these little ones. There you go, have a little, have a little cricket. I feel like the skunks need something more. I kind of want to get like more enrichment for our skunk exhibit. Let's see, and then this little one has a virus that, or like a, some sort of bacterial infection virus needs a little shot for. I feel like we should bathe them more often. It probably wouldn't hurt to have a little bit more food. Let's see, and then how's this skunk doing? Hello little one! 
Please don't spray me. I'm pretty sure I'd have to ask, but I'm pretty sure if you take care of wildlife, you're gonna get sprayed pretty often. All right, and that actually takes care of all of the animals for today. But I wanted to check really quickly. A heart for animals. 10 animals successfully treated. Yay, so we got that. Yay, that makes me happy. And then let's go over, and what can we get for the skunk? Because I feel like the skunk doesn't have a lot going on. I guess it doesn't really want a lot. It just kind of wants this little bed. I, I kind of want to buy this little bed for the skunk. What else is there? Like the raccoon could have something. I feel like the bear needs something. The wolves really need something though. And we were talking about wolves, so let's go ahead. I want to buy the rock for the wolves, even though it's going to use up a ton of our money. I think the skunks are okay, kind of like digging around. All right, buddy. How are you doing? So this is Holly again, which is so fun. And her treatment is probably going to be done tomorrow. And for Holly's area, look at that. Oh, that makes me so happy. We're adding more enrichment for the wolves here. All right, and let's call it a day. We haven't push, put fresh straw in all the boxes. Never mind. Oh, it actually lets us know. I'm sorry, Mr. Raccoon. I'm so sorry. I was so focused on everything. I just didn't notice you had some dirty bedding. Man, I'm glad that that old guy who's like our superior, he's like on it. He's like, nope, I'm going to make sure you take proper care of these animals. There we go. And now it is a brand new day. We're probably going to get so many new animals today, you guys. So many new animals. All right, let's see. I'm going to go ahead, add a little bit of food, give you a little pine cone treat. I love these squirrels. I love these black squirrels. I know... Some of you guys like up in Canada must think I'm just nuts because I've seen that there are black squirrels in Canada. You must think I'm nuts for getting so excited about the squirrels. Oh, I guess haha <laughs> nuts and squirrels. It's kind of funny. But they're just really cute to me when they're little little black squirrels like this. All right, and we're going to go ahead and treat you back up. And we have a new person, new, new person here with new animal. Oh, and it's Emma the raccoon. Oh, and she's just really filthy. So I wonder if she's just had a hard time of it. All right, let's give you a little scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, get you all cleaned up. We'll put down some fresh bedding. She's not really underweight or anything, so let's go ahead, just make sure she has fresh food and water. And come on, water. There we go. Does she want to play in her little water dish? Oh, it's just so cute. Look at that. Just so cute. I love it when they do that. It's adorable. And then I'm going to give her a little acorn to enjoy if I can grab it. There we go. I love how daintily raccoons eat. If you guys have not really watched a raccoon eat, I highly recommend just like looking up a little YouTube video of it because they really use their hands quite daintily and I, I've always been fascinated by watching them eat. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and give you your little shot. Yeah, your treatment's almost done. Oh, and somebody's here. Tom should come to our station to get used to living in the wild again. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Tom is doing well. He's a nice little black squirrel. Off he goes into the wilderness. That makes me happy. That's our goal, you guys. Releasing these guys back into the wild. Ah, but I guess I'm still thinking about the wolves. What's the point of releasing them into the wild if they aren't protected in the wild? So, you know, just figure out where, where your stance is on that and how you want to talk with people because that can be an everyday part of your life and talking with how to take care of the ecosystem, how to take care of the wild, why you should, why it matters. A lot of people think it just doesn't matter or that their interests matter more. And that's kind of sad, you know? All right, Holly, here you go. You're probably going to find somewhere else to go today. I like that we got her a little rock. I feel like her rock is really cool. All right, let's see. Raccoons are taken care of. Squirrels are taken care of. Let's go over and take care of our big old bear. Hi, buddy. Look at your face. And actually, black bears, um, no, it was the grizzly bear. The grizzly bear at the zoo when we went to the zoo a couple weeks ago had this huge, broad face. I was so surprised at how big his, like, muzzle, his whole, like, cheekbones, he, it was huge. And I know bears are going to be huge, but I was just really impressed by how big he was. All right, and there's a fish for you. Man, I really feel like we need more stuff in here for him. Don't worry, we'll improve this area. I'm really excited for how much we can like just start improving all of the exhibits for everybody. Hello, little squirrel, or skunk. <laughs> oh, there's a gentleman here. Holly is a really splendid specimen. Could we integrate this animal in our group? Holly, you're gonna have a pack. Yeah, go on ahead, sir, go on. Take her on to a pack. That's wonderful. Ah, 
And just let me get it off my chest, you guys. There are about 100 red wolves left in the wild here in North Carolina. And they're in the process of trying to either protect the ones that they can in protected lands, or they're trying to... Um, like find them and put them in safe places because a lot of people say that they should be allowed to hunt the red wolf and believe it or not this is a quote from the excerpt of the official meeting where all of this was decided and it really sounded like it was a money thing like the people who the landowners who had the money were the ones who put the pressure down um and <sighs> It was, this is an actual quote from the guy there. He said that the wolves are so smart that he should be allowed to hunt them because they already have so many advantages. And all I can think about is like, you know, those infrared scope cameras that you can have when you're hunting and just like the, the um, track lights that they'll set up, the cameras that you can put up to find out where they're like hiding and where they, they frequent areas. So that, that excuse doesn't fly with me, you guys. Just doesn't fly. All right, let's finish feeding our little skunks really quickly. And we're doing pretty good. So sorry to talk about something so serious today, but it is something that you can start thinking about. You can start being an activist for today. And your life, no matter how old you are, if you're just in elementary school all the way up through an adult, campaigning and championing the wildlife and proper management of ecosystems. And you have to learn a little bit of the science to figure out what proper management means. That's something we can do every day. And I feel like it's actually a responsibility, like taking care of these little guys, which I've done in real life that we all have because we share this beautiful planet. So just keep that in mind. Ah, oh, Siri is on a soapbox today and I just can't seem to get off. All right, it's great that you look after so many animals. We would love to have Monty in our wildlife park. There you go, Monty. And there we are. So that's really the key of it, you guys. That's what we're all about. Stay curious, learn what it means, go past emotions and learn what it means. Um, well, and like listen to your emotions too, listen to them. But Learn what it means to properly manage an ecosystem. Educate yourself in those kinds of sciences. Understand how important it is to do these little tiny things that you think, oh, this doesn't matter very much, that can totally change how all of nature is around your house and things like that. Like using the right kind of soap when you wash your car. Believe it or not, that could have a huge chain effect everywhere. It's Ah, oh, there's just so much to learn. Ah, oh, that's why I love, I love learning. All right, anyway, I am talking too much about these things, so I will let you guys go. But meanwhile, Boots, the beautiful skunk, and there's several different types of skunks in the United States, I found out, by the way. Some have very feathery tails. It's really cool. But Boots has just found a new home. I feel like we are on a roll. Normally, we're just, like, sitting here twiddling our thumbs, kind of healing the animals up. But we are finding new homes for tons of them lately. Woo! We're earning more money! We might be able to get some more cool things soon. All right. Well, I will see you guys next time. We'll finish taking care of the skunks. I am with so many empty spots in our rescue center. I am sure we're about to get a ton of animals showing up. So that's going to be really fun. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.